a hey, boss man might hear of you all today so today i really wanted to go in detail and describe to y'all what a real boss is you know how you can build your people up how you can build your team up if you're your own sole ownership business owner whatever you know boss your life up get some tips write down some notes whatever you need to do to uh you know improve yourself so let's get started So a real boss is, you know, a man, woman that sees the potential in every man and woman that they're working with, sees the potential in every man and woman that they're working with, you know, whether they have strengths, whether they have weaknesses. A real boss is going to help the men and women on their team build up their strengths, improve their weaknesses, and really appreciate who they are, appreciate what they do, appreciate all the time, effort, you know, that they put into the company, that they put into the you know the business and everything like that like a real boss is gonna build their people up a real boss is gonna build their team up you know not gonna put people down not gonna be like oh yeah i'm the boss so you gotta listen to me nah it's not about that you gotta see the people that you're working with as a team as a family you know as a unit you know what i mean you you gotta you gotta appreciate the people that you're working with because you know without without their help you know you may not be able to improve your business. You may not be able to see a different perspective than, you know, how they see things. So a real boss is someone that, you know, sees the potential in every man and woman that they're working with. You know, no matter who they are, no matter their background, no matter what they believe in, a real boss is going to appreciate the men and women that they're working with. A real boss is going to build up their team, build up themselves you know, take into consideration the men and women that they working with, see the potential in all the men and women that they working with. A real boss is gonna help the people that they working with, you know, build up their skills, be it to build up their strengths, be it to improve their weaknesses. A real boss is gonna take into consideration all the men and women that they working with, you know, perceptions, perspectives, ideas. You know, you can't just be like, you know the head of the company and believe like oh yeah i'm better than everybody else you know i i know everything you know these people below me don't don't look down on the people that's working with you because you know you never know the mo mo you know some of the people that you're working with can be you know give you ideas that you might not even thought of give you ideas different give you different perspectives different perceptions that you haven't even thought of so you gotta appreciate the people that you're working with you gotta you know work together as a team a unit a family you know you can't just be in it all by yourself and you know expect great things to happen for your business you got to build up your people you got to build up the people that you're working with a real boss someone that takes you know responsibility with their team takes responsibility of their business takes responsibility of the results that they give you know to whoever they're working with their clients you know the shows the art the music whoever you're working with whoever your clients are whoever your customers are you got to take responsibility you know with your work ethic you got you can't just you know half-ass stuff you can't just you know oh yeah i'm gonna just i'm gonna just do this i'm gonna just do this you know do this a little bit you know you got to put your heart into your work you got to put your heart into your craft you got to put your all into everything that you do and you got to be passionate about what you're doing because you don't want to be, you know, giving people half-ass work. You know, that's not gonna, that's not gonna look good for your business. That's not gonna look good for your, you know, your credibility and everything. You gotta, you gotta build yourself up. You gotta continue to work on your craft. Continue to work on yourself. You know, and you know, that's that's real business right there. You can't just be, you know, doing doing people dirty out here and everything. So you gotta definitely have credibility. You gotta have responsibility with your work. How are your, you know, how you want your, how you want your business to be, you, how you want to, how you want people to be to, you know, perceive you. If if you want people to see you as a real boss, you know, a real businessman or woman, you got to treat people right in the business. You got to treat your customers and clients with respect, and you got to really, you know, put all your heart and your soul into your work, into your craft, into whatever you're doing, whatever you're working on with people and everything like that. And you know, then let's say. You know, another another aspect of being a real boss is that you really you really got to understand how the business work. You really got to understand, you know, what your clientele is, what's your niche. You don't want to be like no you don't want to be like everybody else out here. How how how's your business going to be unique? How are you going to brand yourself? How are you going to, 
you know, sell your business to the world? Are you just gonna have the same stuff, have the same thing going on, just like everybody else? Nah, you wanna be unique, you wanna be different. You gotta, you gotta really be yourself whenever you're building up your business. You gotta have your, your morals, your, your values, your principles within your business, you know? Don't look at other people and copy what they're doing. You gotta understand how you want your business to be. How you gonna run your business? How you gonna run your business? How you, you know, how your business gonna run? You know, what's your business about? What's your niche? Who's your clientele? Who's your audience? What's your market? You gotta understand all of that if you really wanna, you know, build your brand, build your business up. You gotta understand who you really working with and understand how your business is gonna grow and what 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 will it take. You know, how's your business going to be unique? How's your business going to be different than everybody else's? You know, you you got to take that in consideration because, you know, as people, you, there's so many, there's so much, there's so many people out here doing the same stuff, maybe as you doing, but, you know, the difference is, is the difference is between you and them, you know, how much work are you going to put into your craft? How much time and effort are you going to be able to put into your business and market your business? You got to take that in consideration as well if you really want to be your own business, you know, owner, if you really if you really want to be able to showcase your natural gifts, abilities and talents, how are you going to be unique? You got to stay true to yourself. You got to be yourself as you building your own business, building up your own brand. You don't want to be like nobody else. You don't want to have the same, you know, business outlook, perspective, you know, perception or nah, you got to change it up. You got to switch it up. You got to be yourself. Stay true to yourself. That's, the, that's one of the most important things as your own business owner, you know, as you're showcasing your natural gifts, abilities, and talents, you gotta stay true to yourself, be yourself, no matter what the people say, no matter what the critics say, you gotta be yourself, gotta love and appreciate what you do. You know what I mean? But you also gotta take into consideration as you're, you know, you're being your own boss man, as your own boss woman, you know, you gotta take into consideration, you know, how much time and effort are you gonna be putting into your work? How much time and effort are you gonna be putting into your business? You know, what do you have to learn? How how can you grow yourself? How what kind of skills do you need to, you know, build upon as you build in your own business, as you build in your own brand? You know, you can't just wake up, you know, do the same stuff every single day, expecting to see different results. If you really want to build your business, if you want to really build your own brand, be your own boss, you got to put in that work. You got to put in that time. You got to take action each and every day. There should be some time that you set aside to yourself to work on your business, to work on your craft, to build yourself up. You're not, you're not going to get anywhere. Nobody's going to come and help you and save you if you're just sitting down all the time in the, in the house or at work, you know, not really putting any time into your business, into your craft, into your brand. You got you to gotta put in the work. That's the main thing. You got to stay motivated. You got to be inspired with whatever you're doing because, you know, if you're not, then you're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to be doing anything. You're not going to do what you want to do. You're not going to see your business grow. How can you build yourself up? How can you stay focused? How can you stay determined? How can you stay committed? That's all That's all the stuff that you gotta take into consideration. You know, you gotta put that time and you gotta put that work and you gotta take that action each and every day. How can I improve myself? How can I work on my business? How can I improve my business? How can I improve my marketing skills? You know, how can I help and support men and women that I'm trying to, you know, that I'm trying to work with? How can I be able to provide value to the men and women that I'm, you know, that are my customers, that are my clients? How can I provide value to men and women's lives? You know, whether it's music, whether it's art, whether it's like services or products or, you know, clothing or anything, anything that you put your heart and your soul in, like how can you better yourself? You know, you gotta take that in consideration. You gotta really build yourself up. If you want to build your brand, if you want to build your business, put that work in, put that time in each and every day. There should be no off day because whatever you're doing with your life, whatever you're doing with yourself and branding yourself, you should be doing something that you love to do. You know, it's not even going to be feeling like work if you're doing something that you love to do and you know that you can get paid for whatever you're trying to do with yourself. You know, it shouldn't even feel like work. It should be like fun for you. It should be like, you know, give you freedom you know, give you happiness. It should be do it, it should be something that you really love to do. It can't be just some, you know, it can't be no regular stuff. If you put your heart and your passion into something that you love and you continue to build up 
continue to build that craft, continue to build your skills, your abilities and talents up, whatever you're trying to build up, then you know the people are gonna come. The business is gonna come. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the finances right now. Worry about how you can be able to improve yourself each and every day. How much work are you willing to put in? How much, how many, how much sacrifices are you willing to put in? You know, that's, that's what you also got to take into consideration. You got to continuously improve your actions. You got to continuously stay focused, stay determined, stay motivated and inspired with whatever you're trying to build, whatever brand, whatever business that you're trying to build, put that work in, put that time in. You, you'll see, you'll see the results. That's all it takes. Another thing that you got to take into consideration is, you know, what's motivating you? What's inspiring you to build your brand? What's motivating you? What's inspiring you to build your your business? Is it to, you know, get revenge on people? Be like, oh, these people didn't believe on believe in me. So, you know, I'm going to just do it because I'm going to just build this business. I want to be successful because these people said they was, you know, these people was talking down on me. These people said I wouldn't be nothing. Nah, that's the wrong motivation. That's the wrong inspiration. You got to be, you got to love what you do. You got to love yourself. And you got to realize as your own boss, as your own business owner, you know, there's people that's really dependent on you. There's people that's that really going to see your business grow and want to be to be like, hey, you know, I need I want to work with you. I want to build with you. I want to create with you. I want to network with you. You know, you can't you can't have the wrong reasons to build your own business. You can't have the wrong reasons to build your own business or nothing like that. Like. You can't, you can't have that, you can't have that hatred, that anger, that resentment, you know, whenever you're trying to find motivation and inspiration to build your own business, to be successful. You got to have, you know, consideration, compassion for how you're trying to build yourself up, how you're trying to build your business up. You know what I mean? You got to be inspired by knowing that, you know, as you're building yourself up, as you're building up your own brand, you're inspiring men and women, you're motivating men and women, you're uplifting men and women, you're building with men and women, you know, you'll be able to support your family, you'll be able to support your community, you'll be able to support your loved ones. Like, don't, don't, you know, don't build your own business, don't try to be successful for all the wrong reasons, just to get the money, just to, you know, get all the women, just to have the fast cars, just, no, it's not, it's not all about that. You know, it, it, like whatever business you're trying to build, whatever brand you're trying to build, it got to be deeper than that. Or it's just going to be superficial. It got to be deeper than, you know, getting the money, getting, getting the woman, getting the fast cars, living, you know. Like it got to be deeper than that. It got to have more substance. It got to have a deeper, you know, reason, deeper meaning behind all of that, you know. Do it because as you're building yourself up, as you're building your brand up, you're motivating and inspiring the children. The children are gonna see you, you know, living your best life, supporting your family, supporting your community, you know, supporting your, your, you know, your children, your own children. The children are gonna be able to see you and be like, wow, you know, he's he or she's really doing the right thing for themselves. They taking care of their families, you know, building up the community, you know, motivating and inspiring men and women to be able to build their own business, be their own entrepreneur. Don't don't try to be successful for all the wrong reasons because you know as you get to the top and you make it to the top it's just going to feel empty you're just going to feel emptiness because it's like you try to build that success off of hatred try to build that success off of you know greed lust gluttony you know envy and jealousy nah you got to be passionate you got to love you got to love what you going to do you got to think about how you're going to be able to build up your own family. You got to think about how you're going to build up your own community. You got to think about, you know, how much inspiration and motivation that you're providing the men and women around you as you're working on yourself, as you're building yourself, as you're building yourself up, as you're building your business up. People are going to be around you and be like, wow, you know, I want, I want to be like him. I want to be like her. They got their lives together. You know, they're living their best lives just by focusing on themselves, building themselves up. And, you know, that's that's how I want to be with my life. People are going to, you know, people going to see you and recognize that you're really building yourself up. You're really making a change in your life and you're going to motivate them, inspire them to want to do the same thing for themselves. You know, and like I said, don't try to be successful for all the wrong reasons. Build yourself up, make it up to the top. 
just knowing that you're supporting your family, supporting your children, supporting your community. You can provide better value to the community. You can motivate and inspire children, men and women around you to want to live their best lives. That's what a real boss is. That's what a real boss man, real boss woman does. Motivate and inspire men and women to want to change their lives, to want to build their own businesses, to want to live their best lives just by seeing you and seeing all the improvements that you're doing for yourself, you know? That's real boss living right there. That's real boss life right there. Gotta also take that into consideration as you're building yourself up, as you're building your own brand. How do you want to be perceived, you know? How do you want your business to be perceived? How you want to brand yourself? How you want your business to be? Gotta take that in consideration, you know? You're a real boss man, you're a real boss woman, you know what to do. You know how to showcase yourself. So, and most importantly, as you're becoming your own boss man, as you're becoming your own boss woman, you know, building up your business, you know, building up your organization, company, you know, working on your natural gifts, abilities, and talents is the legacy. What is your legacy going to be? What What are you going to leave upon this earth whenever you, you know, you pass away? How do you want your, how do you, how do you want your life to be? Is it gonna be a movie? Is it gonna be a documentary? You know, are people gonna be talking about you for many centuries to come because you're that boss man, you're that boss woman that changed hundreds and thousands and millions of men and women's lives just by doing what you love to do? You know, you gotta you gotta take that in consideration. You know, it's your legacy, it's your life. How are you how are you gonna live your life? How are you gonna build how are you gonna be your own boss? How are you gonna be your own boss man, boss woman? What legacy are you going to leave behind? What are you going to leave behind for your children? What are you going to leave behind for your community? What are you going to leave behind, you know, for the men and women that watched you grow from, you know, nothing to becoming your own boss, being the, you know, the business owner that's on the Forbes list, being the business owner that's, you know, providing value to men and women's lives. Like what legacy are you going to leave whenever you pass away, you know? As a real boss man, as a real boss woman, I believe that, you know, you should leave the greatest legacy, the greatest imprint upon this earth, upon all the men and women that you're connecting with, upon all the men and women that you're motivating, inspiring, you know, communicating with, networking with, building with, like, you gotta, you gotta leave your legacy behind, you know? You gotta build your own legacy, you gotta build your foundation, and as your own business owner, as your own boss, as your own boss man, boss woman, you know, what's your legacy going to be like? You know, how are you going to live your life? How are you going to provide value to men and women? You know, are you going to be able to change men and women's lives? Are you going to be able to support them, motivate them, inspire them? Are you going to be able to inspire your community, you know, to be their own boss, to, you know, build entrepreneurship within your community? Like, what legacy are you going to leave behind? It's all up to you. You know, there's a lot of stuff to think about today in today's video, but I really want you all to understand as your own boss, as your own business owner, as you're doing what you love to do, as you continue to work on your natural gifts, abilities, and talents, you know, you have a legacy, you have a responsibility. You gotta live your life to the fullest and you gotta motivate and inspire men and women around you. You gotta build men and women up. You gotta support men and women. You gotta come together. You know, don't tear nobody down. Don't look upon, don't look down on people just because you're in, you know, like a certain position that they're not in. Don't look, don't ever look down on somebody. Instead, just think about how you can build people up, how you can motivate people, how you can inspire people to want to do the same thing that you're doing for yourself, for your life, bettering yourself, you know, doing what you love to do, being your own business owner and being your own boss man, boss woman, and getting paid for what you love to do, you know? That's what you really got to take into consideration. You can build up your own communities. You can provide so much value to children that need the support, that need the guidance, that need the motivation and inspiration within their lives and need to see that they don't have to work at a nine to five job. You know, how are you going to build your legacy? How are you going to build your foundation? And, you know, with that, with that note, you know, boss man Mike is out. I want y'all to think about the, you know, the things that I talked about in this video. Take some notes, boss your life up. And, you know, keep on living your best life. Let's get it.